And we take you back to 10 years ago already. Can you believe it? South Africans, all of us watching it live on TV, how police had mowed down mine workers in Marikana. Many of us, of course, will never forget the scenes. But new research is showing that less is known about Marikana than other historical events. So how is it we got here and how do we know this for a fact? Dr. Benjamin Roberts from the Human Sciences Research Council joining us. So morning to you, Doc. Good to have you uh, on the show. Appreciate this. So uh, we have to talk then about this South African Social Attitudes Survey, uh, which raises a very important question. How aware are we of the Marikana massacre? It sounds like an insensitive question, but it's probably the most poignant. Yeah, um, so we did a survey late last year, October through December, to really gauge that and look at issues of memory and, and, and uh, our, our views around uh, history and remembrance. And what, a part of that, we did ask uh, our, rep our representative sample of uh, South Africans um, the general level of awareness of the Marikana massacre and the findings were quite striking. We found that only 40% uh, said that they knew enough about uh, the Marikana massacre to be able to describe it to a friend. Another 41% said they had heard of the massacre but knew very little about it. And then about 17%, so just under a fifth, had uh, said that they hadn't ever heard of it before. So really quite, although there's general uh, sort of term recognition that people have heard of the massacre, the, the level of awareness remains relatively thin. I, I see as well there's a class gradient that comes into this because the obvious follow-up question to uh, why so few people it seems remember and how are aware of the Marikana massacre is to why so few are aware of it uh, to a, a lesser degree or thereabouts. And a skewed memory I see is one of the findings as well. But I didn't realize there's a, a class gradient uh, with regards to rural and less educated adults. Uh, they show obviously lower awareness of this as well, but it was such a historical event. I still find that very, very difficult to believe. Yeah, the, um, so that's what we wanted to unpack. Awareness is quite low, but to what extent is there inequality in that knowledge and that awareness mm -hmm. of, of that, that, as you said, recent event? And we looked at a whole range of social and demographic variables. And uh, as you indicated, one of the most uh, notable findings was a very stark educational gradient. So knowledge there varies by about 30 percentage points based you know, on whether or not you have sort of a post-matric qualification or you have very low uh, levels of formal schooling. So it really is a very strong grade, educational gradient. Um, other social factors really did jump out of the class dynamic, as you indicated, and that cuts across issues such as geography. So whether you're residing in an urban metropolitan area versus a rural area really matters. Um, other factors also jumped out, issues such as informational access. So the presence of, of, of a television in the home really uh, was significant, as was issues around in internet uh, connectivity. So access to sources of information and having the resources to have those forms of access really was critical, as well as a range of other class uh, markers, including education. It's interesting to, to note then that what you have is the ability and the willingness of people and the access of South Africans to the Marikana massacre, even all these years later, a decade later, exactly to the day, uh, Doc, as well. But I, I can't help but wonder if there's a desire to know about the Marikana massacre. You automatically are going to start comparing massacres like this historically, which I know is part of the research, to uh, the Sharpville massacre. I see fees must fall is in there as well. Why is there a lower desire uh, to remember the Marikana massacre? Well, I think there's various factors. I think, firstly, you know, obviously there's a lot of pain and trauma involved in 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 the massacre, um, as 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 well as in other historic events, whether it be Sharpville, even more recent events like Peace Must Fall. And there was a lot of, or, you know, apart from the struggle and the dynamic of the struggle, there was also, um, you know. A, brutality involved in many instances, um, in, even in Thieves Must Fall. So I think it's really about a lot of people, um, some want to engage with that history and feel that despite the painful um, 
uh, reflections it con uh, conjures up in people um, that we have to rem uh, remember that past from a, um, and that if we want to avoid a recurrence of those kind of histories in the future. So it's important to derive the kind of lessons of Marathon and other historical events. What we did find is uh, like um, the Mar Marikana massacre, the Sharpeville not awareness of, the sh of, of Thesmus Fall was at a similar level. So it's not that uh, it's particularly high, even amongst youth. And but uh, more distant uh, historical events like Sharpeville mass uh, massacre of 1960, like uh, the 76 youth uprising, yeah, um, yeah. that's even more circumscribed that awareness. So. I think uh, if we look at um, the issues about remembrance, obviously the other thing is issues about you know forgetting, and that we do have quite a big share of the public who feel that we need to move on from these painful histories. Um, and one of the striking findings that came out was issues related to relatively low stocks of awareness in Northwest Province. Where, you know, so, given the proximity to Marikana, one would imagine that we'd see very high levels of awareness in the province, but we find that not necessarily to be the case. So some of it is probably related to some of the factors we've mentioned, class dynamics, informational access, but some of it is probably attributable to issues pertaining to a, a subconscious desire to forget um, the it's trauma of, of, of a fascinating, decade ago. Fascinating research, Doctor. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to come and speak to us about this uh, this morning. So three key questions. How aware are we of the Marikana massacre? What about skewed memory? And as I asked as well about a desire uh, to remember. As we look back exactly a decade ago uh, to the Marikana massacre, Dr. Uh, Benjamin Roberts from the Human Sciences Research Council joining us to unpack what the perception is of Marikana and how well it's remembered all these years ago.